In your health news tonight, a Yale breast cancer study with a high-tech twist. They're texting messages to help patients stay on track of their treatment. News 8 medical reporter Jocelyn Menta is live in the New Haven newsroom with more details on the pilot study at the Yale Cancer Center. Jocelyn. Anna Keith, who doesn't have a cell phone these days? In this study, women with breast cancer are reminded to take their medication, and it's all done through texting. All right, you may think that's a no-brainer, but surprisingly, not everyone follows doctor's orders. Liz Fisher has a stressful job and works long hours. Her cell phone is always close by. After she was diagnosed with breast cancer, Liz had to start a new habit. I have no family history of any kind of illness, and I've never been a pill taker. I don't take anything. Liz has to take the drug Femara daily to prevent her cancer from returning. To help get into a routine, Liz signed up for the Breast Cancer Endocrine Therapy Adherence Study, or BETA, at Yale Cancer Center. There's so much that's new when you suddenly have cancer, you know, that, that like one more new thing, taking, knowing that there's a medication that you need to take it every single day without fail, regardless. You know, it's, that reminder is important. Here's how the every study day, reminds yeah. women like Liz with breast cancer fueled by hormones. Like still... A text is sent daily to their cell phone asking if they've taken their medication. Lead investigator Dr. Sarah Mogallion. There's a lot of data out there that says that maybe even as many as a quarter of patients don't take their medication as prescribed. There is also a weekly text asking participants about side effects and to rate the intensity. It is followed by real time intervention. You don't feel silly raising things that might not be important enough to bring up when you're actually having a meeting with your doctor. Many patients may just say, ah, scrap it, I'm going to stop my medication until I see my, my doctor, and that could be three months away. Liz never missed a day. I took the pill every single day without fail. On one occasion, the reminder got to me before I had taken it, so I'm not sure if I would have missed or not missed. The goal of this therapy is to cure patients of their cancer, um, and if they don't take the medication as prescribed, they increase the risk that their cancer comes back. Women on the beta study are on it for three months. The hope is the interactive technology will become a standard of care for breast cancer. Dr. McGallion is looking for more women to take part. For more information, head to our website, WTNH.com. Keith and Ann.